everybody. This is Gerardo Romero. Uh, how are you guys doing? So, so today we're going to be talking about uh, a story about a veteran who was homeless after he left the military and he found himself having to dumpster dive at local restaurants uh, and and he was not able to at all because a lot of the a lot of the restaurants are are just, you know, they 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 keep dumpsters locked and and secured. So that brings us to our topic, which we're going to be talking about agricultural waste and food waste. And then let's continue. So poverty, poverty and hunger is a huge problem, not only in the United States, but the world. According to Feeding America, last access February 23rd, 2023, 119 billion pounds of food was wasted in America, in the United States, which is equivalent to 40% of all food in America. So today we're going to learn on why it's important to create a law to reduce that amount of food in the United States alone. That doesn't include the whole entire world because the number for the whole entire world is so much greater. Uh, and we will look at problems, uh, causes, and solutions. So, so we have a serious problem. America is wasting 40% of food that is that is produced uh, that produces what that is being produced. Um, 34 mil, uh, million, including 9 million children, are suffering from hunger every single day. That's one in six children that suffer from hunger in the world. According, according to Feeding America, last access February 23rd, 2023, 130 billion meals, that's within the year, may, meals making it more than $408 billion of food being thrown away every single year. Imagine how much money you can, what that money can be used for and how much food, you know, how much food that is. That's just a, a lot of waste. So those 130 um, billion meals could be used for helping the 34 million people that are suffering from hunger. And especially when you think about the children that are suffering every day, you know, it, it could help a lot, make a huge impact. Uh, so 34 million face hunger in America in a survey done by Feeding America. Last access, February 23rd, 2023, our veteran who had to dumpster dive stated that he would get lucky if he was able to get food thro thrown in the trash because restaurants, like I said before, have dumpsters and they're either secured within the uh, gated, uh, gated, um, gated uh, uh, enclosure or they're locked. Um, and sometimes he didn't get to eat that day and sometimes he didn't get, eat for, get, in, didn't get to eat for weeks. So as we transition, we know that this is a huge problem. Um, so now we got to think about what causes the food waste. So one of the things that cause the food waste is from it, it's it's kind of it goes into into stages. So it goes it starts in farming. So farming to pickers to packers. Then we go to manufacturers to um, to stores, and then we go to homes. We go to our own our own homes. So according to According to uh, for, uh, Move for Hunger, the last access is February 23rd, 2023, a big amount of food is wasted, starting with the farming, believe it or not. Uh, they lack labor. That's the biggest thing. But they also get affected by pests and weather. So a lot of the food that is being produced gets thrown away because of pests. Uh, so then, then it goes into packers and shippers who, who lack storage also. And the, the main detail that I have to put, point out for the pickers and storage is that they always pick the most perfect fruit because it's all about sell, sell, sell. So if the fruit is imperfect, it gets thrown away. There's one, one of the big reasons why there's a lot of food waste in America. Uh, then we go on to manufacturers and retailers, which obviously you already know, hotels, restaurants, they order a whole bunch of food. And when they do, they over they overbuy just to make sure they are able to satisfy customers and you know um, the the amount of customers that come in in a day or the weekend or whatever. But most of that food goes into the trash because they are always bringing in new food to replenish their their storage. And then it goes down to our homes. Our homes produce about 42 billion pounds of food waste. Whether you didn't finish your dinner or whether you forgot about that tomato in the back of the fridge. So next time you look into inside your fridge and you see that old tomato that you forgot, just think about that's also food waste and it counts. Uh, 
So as we as we can see, we have those are our causes, and and there's a lot of food waste in America. And this the list goes on, but let us continue. Let's discuss solutions. So we have some solutions, and according to Stop Wasting Food Movement, last access February twenty second, twenty twenty three. The simplest way to reduce food waste starts at home. So by planning your meals, by by knowing what you're going to eat for the week and knowing how much you and your family consume, you're able to go to the grocery store and you're or you're able to go buy whatever the amount of food that you need for the week and not not waste as much as you would normally by just going to the grocery store and buying a whole bunch of food. Another way is to lo locally locally buy food from farms, um, you, it, it reduces the state the stage process from from farmers to packers to sending it off to a manufacturer, getting it all packaged, getting it made up like passed by inspections and everything like that. So it's better to buy local straight from the straight from the source, skip some some processes, and it also helps the environment. Um, like I said, local farming or buying locally, you can reduce the number of phases um, with from fresh fresh foods that you you can go through uh, flea markets, local markets, or whatever. And so that brings us to our conclusion. So today we learned about why it is important to conserve the amount of food that is wasted here in the United States. We looked at problems, causes, and solutions of the food waste in the United States. So next time that you think about throwing away food, remember about the veteran that and children all around the world that struggle trying to find food and they have to dumpster dive. And that brings down, that, that concludes my presentation. Thank you.